Bees, and today we're going to be talking to you about facilities and everything we found from the Sports Business Journal. Um, we got some pretty good stuff to, to give you today, and we're going to get in that. I'm going to go first, Jacqueline will go second, Tom will go third, and let's get right into it. Something that interested me when I was reading the Sports Business Journal was Michigan State University just built a $50 million Hall of Fame history center or building for players, coaches, recruits, fans to come and see whenever they want, basically. And this thing is like, this drop day gorgeous. It's beautiful. I mean, $50 million, you put that into something, and it has to turn out pretty nice. Um, this is important for them because, for example, Michigan State's always a top program for basketball, and when you get these big time recruits in, you wanna, you wanna have something to show them. You wanna have something big to offer, and this is it. So when this recruit comes and he sees this building, he's gonna see all the, the former and current NBA players that came through this program, all the history, and he's gonna wanna want to be a part of that. And when he gets these recruits in and say they commit, that builds their program, that makes them better as a whole, and these players are going to work as hard as possible to try to be a part of this this Hall of Fame history there at Michigan State. And I think that's really important for the, for these kids is just to have something nice and something to keep in right, mind. So another article I read was the uh, Boston Celtics got a new practice facility. Uh, this was a 70,000 foot building. Uh, on Boston Landing, which is a 15-acre uh, plot of land in Boston. Um, it's also home to the New Balance uh, Athletic Global Headquarters. Um, the facility is named after the famed longtime Celtic general manager and team uh, president Arnold, Arnold Orbach, uh, nicknamed Red. Um, the facility is nicknamed uh, the Red's House after him. Uh, Red's House features uh, two full-size practice basketball courts, a uh, hydrotherapy room, with a 40-foot exercise pool and float tank, uh, a medical exam room with uh, GE medical in, uh, imaging equipment, and a sports science lab to gather data on player performance. All right, so another article picked up was the uh, Milwaukee Bucks are getting a new stadium. It's called the um, Preserve Forum, and it's a, a new stadium worth uh, $550 million. So in 2014, the Bucks got um, uh, new owners in uh, Mark Lazary, Jamie Denon, uh, and Mike uh, Baskatelli. Uh, their goal is to revitalize um, Milwaukee, so they had plans to build the stadium in the summer of 2018, so it's already built. And um, they believe that uh, with the new stadium and star player Giannis, they're going to be able to make a run for the, um, the championship. Uh, so a problem they're facing is uh, how they can attract big time players to a small city like Milwaukee. Uh, Denon stated, uh, to get really good players, you have to basically Punch, your, punch above your weight, you have to go the extra mile. Uh, you have to tell players when they come here they're gonna be special and they're gonna be um, valued. Um, so the more attractive you are, the bigger you can recruit, so that's uh, a big incentive of building the new stadium. Uh, some stats about the uh, forum is um, it created uh, 1,100 jobs. Uh, it cost 524 million. Uh, uh, it took two million construction man hours. Uh, it holds, it's got a capacity for basketball games of 17,500, and then for concerts, about 19,000. Uh, they've already sold 9,100 season tickets. Um, so the stadium will, it's not just for basketball, it's also gonna hold numerous other events, such as concerts, uh, Marquette's men basketball, college hockey and college basketball. Um, big name artists have already booked uh, shows for the um, stadium, such as like Metallica and uh, Justin Timberlake. So um, with the new stadium, they're trying to um, revitalize uh, Milwaukee. Yo, what's up class? I'm Tom Sever, and I'm here with my boys, the Killer Bees, and we're talking today about some facilities. Okay, well, I'm gonna start off with some pro basketball teams. They're investing a lot of money lately into their uh, off-season indoor facilities. We always see what they do in the, uh, during the regular season. King James, Ball, and Kevin Durant always taking rings from them. But we never see what's going on during the offseason, so I'm going to try to give you an inside look at what's going on in some of these different pro uh, facilities. Bum, bum. We all know those California girls. Jake Hall, I know you like that back there. 
Okay, well, well, I'm gonna take it to California. LA Lakers, baby. The one and only, they got the king now. They had this new practice facility open in July 2017. Cost them 80 big ones. I see you, Magic, I see you. Uh, named the UCLA Health Center Training Center. No, I said that bad. UCLA Health Training Center, not two trains. So my bad, class. And then uh, the big features, they got an indoor, outdoor, Players Lounge, they go chill after practice, during practice, whatever. Hundred, it's massive, 124,000, close to 125,000 square feet facility. It's state of the art, humongous. And then they even have a 750 seat little arena inside the facility for their G League members, families come play. Now I see the big things with this, like the player lounge they include and all these perks and stuff, they try to keep the players on on all the time training in the training facility, thinking about basketball and stuff like that. That's what I'm getting out of this. So, well, that's what I got about the Lakers. I think I'll put bold prediction right now. They beat Golden State in the uh, finals, lose to Boston, NBA finals. Come back to me. Hawks facility. They opened it in October 2017. Cost them around 50 million. They uh, call it the Emory Healthcare Courts. 90,000 square feet. They got two full-size courts in there. And then uh, the big thing is they got a sports clinic. Big state-of-the-art sports clinic and they got doctors right on site for these players injured. It's about the sports clinic alone is 30,000 feet. So that's pretty sweet. And then you got the sports performance lab. It's like all just pro athletes only though, you know what I mean? So, can't just go, regular Joe can't go in there. It's like, it's not Rocky, you ever see Rocky three? Number one of the Russians training, something like that, so. But uh, yeah, that's the Atlanta doing big things. You can see it coming during the season. They've been better in the, what? Playoffs the past four years, something crazy like that. So, doing big things for Atlanta. Hey, to wrap this up, just wanna ask you got a few questions. Uh, what does facilities mean to you? Uh, to me, personally, facilities are incredibly important for athletes, not only uh, on the field, but off the field. Like you, I, sa I said in my segment, they have uh, players' lounges and stuff, you know, and like I said, Deion Sanders said, look good, feel good, play good. It's almost the same with facilities. You've got good facilities, that they're nice, you practice good, you play good. But you know what, Declan, Kenny, what I think also, you get those spoiled athletes out there, you know, with those beautiful facilities, whatever. We come from a school with grit, Mercyhurst. These athletes world class, and we don't got no fancy swimming pools. We got water running off the field after a damn rain. But, you know, that's what we got. Uh, must think. Uh, Declan, how important is facilities in today's sports world? Well, to me personally, like, um, to add on to that, facilities can also, like, revitalize, like, a city or a group of people or like a, a college, like if you're getting new facilities, you're gonna get more recruits, you're gonna get more attraction in your area. Um, like with the Bucks, they got their new stadium, more people can go to the games, they're gonna have more like revenue at bars, restaurants, it's just gonna revitalize the whole like culture and area around a, like a particular city or a university. That's it, we'll see you next time. See you boys. I'm not going to, so quit asking.